Hi ladybirds, welcome to your phonics game today. Now, your first challenge today for your phonics is to practice writing a <laughs> and a b -b 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 on your whiteboard. Now, you could do it on your whiteboard, you can do it on paper or your little booklet, anything that you've got in your phonics pack. So you can have a little practice of these one-armed robot letters. So you can have a go at doing four of each one. See if you can have a little go. Pause the video and do that now. Okay, ladybirds. So we're now going to get ready for our song for our phonics time. Now I'm going to play the song for you. See if you can have a go at joining in with how it goes. So our new digraph, remember here, is a digraph for uh, uh. And you have a go rolling your hands over each other, like being like a mixer. And you could have a think about what type of mixer you want to be. So you might want to be a mixer, like mixing food. Or you might want to pretend that maybe you're a mixer and from a construction site. Because I know some of you love construction. So you might want to pretend that you're a mixer, like a cement mixer. You could think about different types of mixers and which one you'd like to pretend to be while you sing the song. The mixer in the bowl goes ah 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 ah. The mixer in the bowl goes ah ah ah, mixing the food together. Well done, ladybirds! Great effort. Okay, now today's challenge. It would be useful if once again you have a go at having those things that are next to you that will help you. And today's challenge also will be useful if once again you have a go at using either a dice or the numbered cards or the Numicon. Now hopefully you'll have one of those things that you can use. Numicon from your pack, a dice maybe if you've got any board games at home, or the number cards if you um, haven't got the other resources. You could just get some scrap bits of paper and write the numbers out. Now we've played this game before, but this one's a bit different this time. So it's called a roll and write challenge. Now your challenge is to have a go at picking a number. So you might want to pick a number by rolling a dice, by picking one of your numbered cards, or by picking a numicon out. And then your grown up can have a go at picking one of the words from the rows that you would like to have a practice at talking about learning about what it is and having a go at sounding it out and writing it down. Now there might be some interesting new words to learn here. One of the words here for instance is a new word about food that you might not know. Another new word here is a new word about animals. There's another word that's all about hair and hairstyles. There's another one that's linked to school. There's even another one that's really important uh, in terms of washing your hands. And I'm sure you all know about that really well. So maybe you can pick which ones you want to have a go at sounding out and use those great segmenting arms and segmenting hands like we've been practicing for the last number of weeks. Okay, ladybirds, well done for having a go at that challenge. Your final challenge for your phonics today is to have a look at some of the sounds that I've put at the bottom here. Now, some of these sounds make up one of those words from your roll and write challenge. Now, you might have already written this word or you might have not done because you might have been picking some other ones. I want you to see if you can work out um, either from one of these challenges, the build a word challenge, where you have a go at moving some of these sounds around and working out hmm, which one would make the word. So you might want to have a go at thinking, oh, would we put this in the middle? Would we put it at the end? Would we maybe have our er uh sound at the start, in the middle, at the end? What do we think? See what words you could make up. OK, 
Can you make it more than one, maybe? Hmm. So that's one of your challenges. The other challenge is you can either have a go at thinking about where that uh, sound is and practice writing it in different ways. Or the final one is to think about writing a sentence around the word. A little bit like the example that I've given. I won't say what it is, though, otherwise you'll know what my word is. So that is your challenge today. So you don't have to do all three of those. You just pick one of them that you can have a go at doing below. So you can pick which one you want to do. Well done, Ladybirds, for your great effort. I hope you've enjoyed your phonics time today. And I look forward to teaching you again soon. See you later. Bye.